Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 4, the Angel of Death. Uh, we managed to get inside here last time out, inside the uh, the monastery bit again. But uh, Nico got here somehow, not sure how she did that. We snuck past some guards, uh, some monk guards once again. Uh, and now we're in this area. Now I don't know if we have to go through here. It's very dark in here, it's got to be said. Not a chance while that locking beam is in place. Okay, can we move the locking beam? That thing isn't gonna budge. Okay. I wonder what they're keeping down there. So I guess we're gonna need a key then. It's the only thing I can think of. It looks like there's maybe some locks or something there, but seeing as he said it's not gonna budge. Locked. That's locked, okay. Seeing as he said it's not gonna budge, I'm guessing we've gotta find a way to unlock it. Uh, anything this way? We've got all this stuff here again, which I think we looked at the last time we were here earlier in the game. Uh, and I think we came up, didn't we come up this way to get to the offices? Yeah, it looks about right, doesn't it? Uh, okay, and then it was down here and on the left, I think, is the room we went in before when we were looking for info. Devil's office door is slightly open. I oh. can hear movement inside. Anna Maria? There's someone in there. Shh. When we were looking for info on Anna Maria. Can we peer, peer through here? Hey, Nico, take, take a look. Those are Devlin's files. Oh. What's he up to? Sneaking about. Oh, we're back in, back in control, are we? Can we just go in? Yeah, I guess we can. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Cardinal, but isn't that somebody else's safe? Or do you just not give a damn any longer? You! Haven't you done enough damage? No, oh, we've only just started. And we don't have much time. Where's the weapon? <laughs> you ask me? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. Yes, Your Eminence, don't pretend. Who's this? Oh, that guy. And... Good timing, guys. So it is true, Monsignor Bell. You and the Americans were working together all along. Once again, Your Eminence, you fail to understand what is happening in front of your own eyes. We were working with Americans, but not this one. We must all be prepared to die for our faith. Uh... Oh! May the Lord forgive me. Was this guy the good guy? And those are the bad guys? Did we have it wrong? Nelly was weak. He refused to let us build the weapon. Yep. But the weapon is our destiny. God granted it to the Order hundreds of years ago to smite the infidel when the time was right. And the time is right now. But Ginelli wouldn't listen. He was going to stop us. Fortunately, we found you in time. We couldn't have done it without you, Mr. Stobart. You translated the manuscripts, found the cherub, and even stopped the cardinal for us tonight. Remarkable. Oh, George. Oh, anytime. So, what happens now? We change the course of the world. And if we hadn't turned up when we did, he might have been able to stop us. But why? He betrayed the Order two years ago by forbidding us to use the Ark. Only Father Gregor and I have the strength to fulfill the Order's destiny. To uh, smite the infidel and prove the righteousness of the One Faith. You mean kill everyone who hasn't taken on religion? It is our calling. So what happens now? We can use her, but we don't need him. You're right. Take her downstairs. Well, what happens to me? You're going to a much <coughs> better place. Well, they could have shot us, I suppose, Wake which up, would have George, been worse. Wake up. Hey, oh, where's my wheel look bar? who it is! What? I'm so sick and tired of being knocked out. <laughs> part of the job, I guess, for you. Mark, how did you get here? Ab sailing's not as dangerous as it looks. <laughs> so I see. I've been training all my life for this moment, George. Where's Nico? I don't know. All right, well, Mark's He's alive. You must stop them. Nobody else here knows about this. Only you. But what are they doing? Where are they? They have the Ark. The Ark? And they have the gold to power it. I tried to stop them. Oh, is it? You use the Mafia. God will forgive me. But the girl... Anna Maria, 
She was too clever for me. Wait. For me too. The mafia were the good guys? <laughs> what will the Ark do? The angel of death will rise up and destroy the unbelievers for miles around. Only those whose faith is true will be saved. Devlin believes it will show the world that there is only one true God. He wants to start a worldwide crusade. Oh good. Where is he? And where's Nico? You must stop him. Here. Take the manuscript. Find the Ark. Find the Ark. And stop him. And <laughs> we have to find Nico. And Gregor said something about Dan <laughs> Oh, sorry, the way he died there was just pretty funny, just like, find the Ark! Down goes his head, it was just, it's a little bit comical, let's be honest. Alright, so we've got the manuscript now. Um, manuscript book. Okay. Oh, this isn't the manuscript we had before, is it? The Ark. A powerful image of the Ark of the Covenant. Alright. Light, or could it be fire, is pouring out over the land below. So we've got a bit Indiana Jones here. Which is, uh, you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's, okay. Oh, Jesus is here as well. Look, there he is. Three images of Jesus with the cross, carrying, putting it down, and the actual crucifixion. Okay. What else have we got? Some text. Uh, we can only click on some of this, it seems. The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmut can follow Templar or Hospitaller of lowly breed. Malmut must follow Turk to escape the assassin. Sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. All right, this is sounded a bit like a riddle of some si some sort. Uh, so let's can we look at this text as well? We can. The fourth. The master shall show the way through the warmth of his heart. Fine. Finally, thou must prove thyself to be true. Fine. So this is going to be some sort of riddle. Uh, all right. Mark, any ideas? Mark, help me. What do you need? I don't know. What do we need? Let's, let's talk about Nico. Mark, do you know your way around this place? Uh, where could they have taken Nico? There's supposed to be an ancient necropolis somewhere. But I doubt you can reach it from here. It's underground, yeah? The whole Vatican is riddled with secret crypts and hidden chapels. Alright, so it's going to be through that trap door we saw earlier, I'm guessing. All those nights watching action movies paid off, huh? I always dreamed something like this would happen. I never thought it would be right here in the Vatican. A regular Catholic crusader. <laughs> I like that, George. I like that a lot. The Ark. Do you really think they have the Ark? I never doubted its existence. It's a weapon, though, and, and Gianelli said they had enough gold to power it. But why would they kill innocent people? To cleanse the world of unbelievers? It's quite a popular notion these days. Yeah, all right. More? If the Ark is a weapon, then what can be done to stop it? Beats me. Oh, it's really big help there, Mark. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Okay, George said it earnestly. I said it sarcastically. But, uh, yeah, so... Alright, we've got to find Nico then, I'm guessing. Is there anything else in this room to take a look at before we head out? Anything in this desk, maybe? Don't think so. Um, anything here? No. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's head out. We went into this room before when we were here, didn't we? Can we get into this room again? We can. Uh, oh, what's all this? Books and stuff. I, I really didn't come here to read. Okay, fine. It looks like there was like a a frame on the wall there, which is, is gone. I don't know if that's important in some way or whether that's literally just a coincidence. Oh no, it's the it's the it's just the design of the wall. I, I really didn't come here to read. Okay, we've got this this painting again. That that looks like Wow. A copy of Poussin's The Ark of Ashdod. That's a painting I studied in comparative religions back in Idaho. This is looking very The Ark of Ashdod. Depicting the slaughter of the innocents. I have to stop the same thing happening again here and now. Described in the book of Samuel, it depicts the power of the Ark of the Covenant devastating the populace of Ashdod. Okay. Uh, oh. Mark, this weapon, the Ark, it must be what Gregor and Devlin plan to unleash. You would Holy think Mother so. of God, 
George, we must stop them. We must. Uh, okay, let's have a look and see what we've got here. Man debating. The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. The Ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us, because his hand is heavy upon us and upon Dagon, our God. Okay. What else have we got here? Temple block. They placed the Ark in Dagon's temple. The next morning, the people of Ashdod saw the statue of Dagon fallen on his face on the ground before the Ark of the Lord. Okay. Woman with a baby. The rancid corpse of mother and child. Another child still alive watches on. Well, this is terrible. Yeah, it's pretty grim, isn't it? Um, what else have we got? We've got men carrying a corpse, uh, which is there. Men debating we already looked at. I th okay, so I think it's just the men carrying the corpse. The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. He plagued them with tumors, and their cities swarmed with rats. No wonder they gave the ark back to the Israelites. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and is there anything else? Ah, there's an angel, and there's an angel. Okay. Painted in the left corner is a depiction of an angel carved into the frame. And there's a crack around her neck. Okay, a crack around her neck. This isn't anything. The image of an angel carved into the frame sits serenely at the bottom right of the painting. There's a large crack around her neck. Now why carve that? So this, this, can we use any items here? So it's a, something about cracks around the neck. Um, okay, is there anything about that on the manuscript? Let's have a look at these bits of text here again. The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmut can follow Templar or Hospitaller of lowly breed. Malmut must follow Turk to escape the assassin, sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. So I'm guessing that's going to be used later on a bit. And then, and then we've got these things here. So probably this isn't going to be anything to do with this, right? Um, so, I mean, where do we go now? Do we just try and get in through the the locked door thing on the floor that we saw earlier? Maybe we do. Uh, where was it? It was down here, wasn't it? Down we go. Into this very dark room again. Do they not have lights in this place? It's the trap door leading somewhere below the monastery. Yeah, can we... <clears throat> there's a lock on the inside of the trap doors, but I need to get to it. Oh, there's a lock. We need to get to the lock. Uh, okay. Can we, like... That's not such a good idea. Oh yeah, here we go. Golf club. Golf club isn't going to fit in the crack. Oh. I need more space between the doors. Okay, we need to make some space first. Hmm, that won't work here. No, so it's not that. Uh, what else have we got? I'm going to use the C4. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> That's not quite right. No, not quite right. Okay. Um, we do have Brother Mark here. Can he help? Try and hold these doors open a little for me, would you? Ah, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, you give it a go. Right, so I'm guessing he holds it, and then we use the golf club to thingy the lock. Yeah, okay, this is doing something. Hey! Okay, nice. And we're in to well whatever done, this Mark. is. We make quite a good team. We do, actually. Funny. In my dreams, there was always a beautiful blonde cheering me on at a moment like this. <laughs> a blonde, as in blonde girl? Of course. Oh, well, I thought you were, well, you know. You thought what, what George? George? Why, well, I, I kind of thought you didn't, well, have those feelings uh, for uh, women. George, I may wear the garb of a priest, but inside there still beats the heart of a hot-blooded male. I mean, you were quite heavily flirting with us earlier, dude, so... I mean, you know, I, th I thought he liked George, honestly. That that was my gut instinct. But um, then again, George, I guess not everyone fancies you. So 
what is going on down here? Some sort of angel things. Those look sort of like the angel things that were on the frame of that painting. Which is interesting. This looks trapdoor-y, doesn't it? Um, so we've got these things here. Let's have a look at them. Oh, and there's these. These these were on the, the frame as well, so we're going to have to go back to the frame. Maybe we have to see like which way the the uh, the angels were facing and which way these were facing or something. But I'll tell you what, guys, we're out of time, so we'll do that in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Turn Million Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.